I'm Jonathan Stroud, and I'm delighted to introduce to you my new book, The Outlaw Scarlet and Brown, uh, which is a British Western packed full of gunplay, um, adventure, swashbuckling heroes, cannibals, suspense, and lots and lots of jokes. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Well, I've had a lot of fun uh, writing The Outlaw Scarlet and Brown because I was able to pack into it uh, all the things I like. Um, so I put in um, uh, lots of gunfights, um, exciting chases, um, suspenseful scenes with, uh, with cannibals and villains, lots and lots of jokes. Uh, and um, most importantly for me, I guess, two um, really great characters, uh, Scarlett McCain and Albert Brown, who are opposites to each other. Um, they, they get on each other's wick incredibly at the start. They don't like each other. Um, but as the book goes on, uh, they realize that each one um, is essential to the other's survival. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it um, and it's coming to you very soon. Favorite fictional duos, that's a good question. I suppose if I had to give an answer, it would have to be uh, Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. I think you get the, the beautiful um, complement of opposites. One of them is very cerebral and super intelligent. The other one is, is brave, but maybe slightly less brainy. And um, between the two of them, they get the job done. Um, so if my characters could have um, half that mythic quality, I'd be very happy. That's a really, really good question. Um, they would both have their drawbacks, actually. Uh, uh, Scarlet would uh, crucially keep me alive because she's an excellent shot, very tough, very practical, um, and I know that I'd get to my destination. Um, she would probably beat me up uh, quite often because I would irritate her, um, but she'd get the job done. Uh, Albert, on the other hand, would be much more chilled, much more relaxing company. Um, but we'd probably both get um, eaten by a giant otter before we got very far. So um, I'll go for Scarlet. Well, I think that um, the books you read when you are young are the most important books uh, in your life. The, the, the ones that really uh, impact on you when you're young stay with you uh, forever and become part of you. So um, it, it's a tremendous thrill to write stuff um, of, of that kind. Um, and I know that my readers uh, will be uh, as passionate and um, committed to, to my books as, as I am. And that's a, that's a tremendous, uh, tremendous honor. The most glamorous parts of being a writer are probably the really cool bits where you get to uh, talk to your your readers in Australia and New Zealand and other glamorous places like that. Um, also, in in the uh, pre-pandemic days, you know, I would go travelling around and actually visit all kinds of really wonderful places and meet meet my readers, which is a tremendous thrill. Um, that's the exciting bit. the The day to day grind is fairly boring, really, just sitting in my in my little room, uh, scribbling away, um, sort of scratching my armpits and and trying to get some inspiration and it's not particularly glamorous, um, it's quite repetitious, but you know, at the end of every day, you look down and you've got a little bit of writing that you didn't have before. Um, and that actually means that even a, a, the most boring days uh, do become quite exciting. Well, there's no doubt about it. I mean, I try and be, I try and be healthy. I have, I have my bottles of water, uh, I have my little bowl uh, with a bit of fruit in, you know, bananas, apples and that sort of thing. Um, but the, 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 the fuel that keeps me going uh, with my writing is a cup of tea uh, and a uh, chocolate digestive biscuit. Th th those are the two essentials for any, any good creative writer.